It's one of the most feared events in basic training, the dreaded gas chamber, in which soldiers are exposed to seemingly toxic gases and learn to react without losing their composure or equipment. Kenya Mills takes us back to Sand Hill for our third installment of the making of a soldier, the gas chamber. <laughs> Before we get to this, let's start with a quick pictorial on the evolution of the gas mask. Gas masks have been developed for babies, kids at the playground, dining with friends, and kissing a loved one. For trendy club kids and punk rockers. And works of art, Mona Lisa and American Gothic got theirs too. Oh, and don't forget the Mickey Mouse version and the baby model with bunny ears included. With the evolution of the gas mask keeping in mind its serious implications, comes the necessary use of it in the military. That's how you clear and sail, huh? Huh? And that's the next step for these basic training troops, learning to use their gas masks. You take the hand, put it over the canister, to breathe in, that seals the mask to your face. Huh? That is all you privates have to do. You can't see it from here, but under that grim exterior, these troops are pretty excited. Everybody's gonna do it, huh? I'm stoked. I'm ready to do this because I'm ready to see this out of it. Gotta be as strong as we can be. We're in the army. I feel like a real soldier. I feel like quarantine. You see more quarantine? Yeah. Go to the gas chamber together. And apparently I got a lot of better booties, huh? So now that we know they're okay, you're probably asking yourself, what does wearing a gas mask feel like? Somebody hits you in the face with a plunge, it feel like one of them. I can barely breathe. Every time I talk, I lose breath. Now that our minds are at ease, let's go inside the chamber. First, uh, you went in there and you lined up against the walls. They had you break the sill on your mask, say your last name and your last four year social. And they had them take off their mask and they had to put their helmet back on. I can't believe the uh, drill sergeant trying to make me say the Soldier's Creed. The Soldier's Creed! The Soldier's Creed! I am the Soldier's! I'm a word! To them, it seems and feels like they're choking to death, but this chamber is actually filled with a mild gas called CS gas, usually used for riot control. Basically, it's just modified pepper spray and a gaseous form that basically makes them panic a little bit. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's Unfortunately, I dropped my mask, though. <laughs> That's just one of the reasons these troops now have to go in again. They go back in a second time, they leave any equipment inside. It makes them be accountable for their equipment, make sure they don't leave anything on the battlefield. The reason we send it back in is to teach them that, yes, it burns a little bit, but you need to, you need to be able to maintain your focus while you're in the chamber. That way, once they experience it in combat, if that happens, they'll be able to react the proper way. You know what to do. Do it right the second time or you won't come back through. So now you're probably wondering how these troops did. What'd you feel like? A piece of catfish. <laughs> in fish grease, yes. Uh, like you in a frying pan. Yeah. <laughs> like you're a piece of chicken being like cooked. Okay. All of it's gone through our nose. Out of our mouth from coughing so much. So we're not congested anymore, so we shouldn't have no sick days tomorrow. It makes you kind of hungry. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I'm feeling kind of hungry after walking out. This confirms the CS chamber is not so bad, but the lessons learned will have lifetime effects on these troops. Is digging a little bit deep, getting a little bit of personal courage that you didn't know you had before. To me, the confidence, the faith and equipment part is a huge plus. Knowing that your equipment is going to work absolutely makes a huge difference. Uh, it sucks. It wasn't that bad. Reporting from Sand Hill, Kenya Mills, Fort Benning TV. Tune in for the next installment of The Making of a Soldier, where we get a glimpse of the friendships and the camaraderie being forged on Sand Hill as we take you with the troops through the confidence course.